The bedroom floor just collapsed and my brother-in-law is in there and he's underneath the house. A man in his bed when suddenly a giant sinkhole opens up swallowing him before his brother could even rescue him. Florida is known for its sinkholes, but what is unfolding in Sefna right now is so hard to believe it's capturing the attention of the nation. Yes, I jumped in the hole and was trying to dig him out. I couldn't find him. The sinkhole, at least 30 feet wide and 20 feet deep, is unstable. The ground still collapsing, threatening to devour the entire house. Our plan is to finish our mission without injuring any other lives or, or causing any other damage. Right now, police presume the man is dead and the dangerous mission to recover his body is beginning. At this hour, officials and engineers are searching that unstable piece of land. Good evening, I'm Brenda McLaughlin. And I'm Linda Hurtado. The victim has not been seen or heard from since the middle of the night. Jameson Euler is live at the scene tonight with the very latest. Jameson. Yeah, Brendan and Linda, I'm right outside of that Sefner home tonight, the center of a lot of attention. I want to point our camera in the direction of the front yard of that property. That machine that you're seeing there right now is being used by engineers. I am told that is called a ground penetrating cone. It has a rod in there that about an hour ago, they stuck that rod into the property, into the earth. They went down to see if there were any other voids on this property that could cause them any trouble if they were go to go in there and do a recovery mission. About 30 minutes ago, they did find a void that they said stretched out to the street, so they pushed our television cameras back another 20 feet. Our crews have been here since 1 o'clock this morning. We spoke to the brother of the victim who is presumed to be dead inside that home, buried under the rubble. I also spoke to the man who has owned that home from day one for the last 40 years. Here is what we know at this hour. That sinkhole is inside that 1,200 square foot home. You will not see it from the outside at all. It is a hole that is approximately 30 feet wide by 20 feet deep. Think about that. 20, or excuse me, two stories deep and buried in that rubble in one of the back bedrooms is believed to be the body of 37-year-old Jeff Bush. Crews still need to demolish part of that home before they can dig and recover what is believed to be his body inside there. We're told that listening devices and cameras have been sent in all day and that they have not detected any signs of life. Engineers and rescue teams know that this is delicate land and right now, so, so far, nearby neighbors have been told to evacuate on both sides. As we come back out live now, we want to send our team coverage over to Ryan Raich, who joins us live now, who's been out here all day long. He joins us with the latest. Ryan? Yeah, Jamie said they have a lot of work ahead of them. This is a long and tedious process. The biggest issue is the house. They don't know if at any given point that house could collapse into the sinkhole. It's a real concern for rescue crews. It's also a point of frustration for the family. In the last hour, I witnessed a shouting match between members of the family and police officers. They feel that more needs to be done to get to their loved one, but the simple fact is it's not safe. I heard a loud crash like a car coming through the house. And I heard my brother screaming. Still in a state of shock, Jeremy Bush held back tears, recalling the moment his brother, Jeff, was swallowed into the ground. When he ran into his room, all he saw was a gaping hole with just a tiny part of Jeff's mattress sticking out. So I jumped in the hole and was trying to dig him out. I couldn't find him. I heard, I thought I could hear him hollering for me to help him. He says he tried digging and digging, but never found him. A short time later, a deputy arrived and pulled Jeremy out because it wasn't safe. Uh, while this was going on, there continued to be collapses of the earth below the floor um, to the point where they eventually had to back out of the house. Fire Chief Ron Rogers says engineers and rescue crews use special listening equipment but did not detect any signs of life. Bush is presumed to be dead, but with the hole continuing to grow, there have been no attempts to recover his body. The problem that we have right now is we just don't know how stable the house itself is. The victim's family spent most of the day helplessly watching and holding on to hope. Until I see him, until they bring him out, you have to hold on. That's all you have. Didn't deserve it at all. I can't do this. I can't do it. Engineers and fire rescue crews continue to analyze their options, but the most likely scenario is to demolish at least part of the home. I just want my brother out. I don't care what they got to do. Now, once rescue crews realized that a sinkhole was growing, they ended up evacuating the homes on both sides of the house behind me. The big unknown here is how much bigger the sinkhole is going to get or if another sinkhole pops.